Grade seven girls, we will start with new topic. That is topic four. This topic is all about algebra. So first we'll just review what you know from before. And then 4.1 we'll be doing in our next lesson. So here, when you substitute an expression, as I told you, whenever you see numbers and letters together, you call it as expression. And this expression, in this expression, the letters, they are called as variable. What are they called? Variable. This variable, I replace with the given value. Example, x equal to. So I just simply copy everything. But instead of x, I write 2 here. Instead of x, I write 2. And then I put the same thing. So 2, and you know that if you see parenthesis, the relation is multiplication of plus or minus. Between, yeah, 2 and times 2 is 4 plus 1. This is my answer, 5. So, girls, this variable is replaced by given value, right? So, this is nothing but substitute. We, we call it as substitution. You substitute something instead of that. Like example, your teacher is absent here. Okay, she's sick. What do, the, what do Ms. Wala do, do? She brings somebody else instead of her. She substitute like that instead of X, there is some, somebody else coming there, some other number coming there. It could be any number given in the question. Did you get this point? What is the meaning of substitution? Simple, if they give you 2M plus 3N and they give you M is two and N is four, what will you do? Instead of M, will you put four or two? M is 2 and N is 4. So same M is given as 2 and N is given as 4 like that. You will substitute, you will put substitution. The word substitute means to put something. How did you word the 3? This is a question. They can give you anything. Okay, one by one. Don't worry if you don't get it, okay? You'll just leave it like that. And I will, I will explain how to solve that. This is what the first lesson is, okay? I used to call family, algebra is a family, where sisters are together, brothers are together, the family members are together. I will explain you with the real life. Actually, it's not real life, but I do that. Imagination, I love to imagine and play with math, okay? Same you will do with me, okay, girls? Now next, to evaluate A plus three, when A equals seven, you can, One minute, girls, one minute. Did you write the first one? Just a second, just a second, because it has to be evaluated and the next has to substitute because you can substitute seven in the expression. Give me a moment, let me go here. Because I think the first one is to evaluate. To first find out, then put it inside. Yeah. When you evaluate an expression, you replace each variable with a given value to evaluate. Then to evaluate, what do you do? You substitute seven for, like see what is given here, Mateen? A equal? 
So, Ghalia, what do you do? You substitute 7 instead of A in the expression, right? Next, the set of rules, whatever, do you remember the PEDMAS, what she was saying me just now? These are nothing but, we will definitely follow the order of operations. And each part of an expression that is separated, like see, 3x plus 2y plus z. How many terms are there in this expression? One, two, three. Like, you know, plus, between plus, we can, so you cannot say three and x is two different separate. No, you have one term, you have the second term, you have three terms. So, which is separated by plus or minus, it, these are called as term. And the whole thing is called expression, right? The whole thing is called without equal sign. Remember, without equal sign. With the equal sign, it's called equation. They did not give you here. When two numbers are multiplied to get a product, like example, two times x, three times nine, or four times four times y, these are nothing but factors. What are these? Factors. You will get it. Normally, what are factors? If I ask you, 18 is a factor of six. Does six come in the timetable of 18? Is the, um, 12 is a factor of six? Yes. Because, no, 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 six is a factor of two, like that. Malak? Malak? Yes, yes. Did you write this? Yes. Open yes, your book yes. to page. If you haven't opened your book, please open your book to page 187. Yeah, Malak. This, this lesson, you need to really concentrate a lot. Okay, Malak? Okay, miss. Page 187. Please write it down. Okay? Now, Yala, let us start. Okay. This is simple evaluation. This is no substitution. Because with the order of operations, this is with the order of operations, as she was saying. So let us quickly do it. I will, if you want, girls, you can use your book. Uh -huh. I will use this, this side. I love to do that side. Yes. Yalla, number seven. As you told me, it's correct. It's like all pet must, this one. Because this is just review what you know. This is not algebra. This is not all. What is it called? Order of operations means head mass. You remember? You remember this with Ms. Susan? Now here, three, 18. Okay. So first, what is the step? Two, two, do the parenthesis, right? Let us just copy everything same. Do the parenthesis, what is it? 18 minus seven, you have calculators quickly. No wrong. Do it again. Yes, correct, correct. <laughs> yeah, eleven. Okay, plus two. Now, of course, I will multiply this first, right? Multiplication first, and then you will add thirty-five. That's it. Girls, you can even fit it here. There are only two, three steps. Two steps. This is the first step. This is the second step. You can do it here. Number eight. Is it 13 plus 2? Number 8, is it 13 plus 2? I'll solve this one and I'll solve this one. Yala, do 9. The first word is coming, like, see, I solved 13 plus 2, I wrote 15, I also solved 9 minus 5, 4, I got 5, and then I divide the word. Both parentheses open at the same time. Any, any questions? And if girls, 
like these questions you're using calculator, you need to put the parenthesis, then do it. You'll get the answers, but better to solve this way. And Lean, please take my help You see, for using calculator. You have seen, because this is scientific calculator, see how you got it. Inshallah, I will increase your mark because I know you very well. You know, you know, you know the questions. Yeah, nine. Is it is this a question? Question number nine, 24 divided by four. What is it? Plus two or into two? Four? After four, what is it? Really? Uh -uh. So first thing, according to the rule, what should you do? Pedmas. Huh? Don't follow the first. Malak, yes, Malak? When I did nine, I got six. What? Pedmas means parenthesis, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. You'll follow this. So first is division. What is 24 divided by four? Six. Very good times two and then will you minus or will you multiply first i'll multiply 12 minus two what do you get 10 10 is your answer understood you divided you got six right then times two what is according to you will subtract first or you multiply first multiply first according to the rule here multiply first six times two 12 minus two we can do it but see we have to write step by step. You can do if you want six, you know this is six and time to 12 minus two, but you have to show the steps here, Mateen. Hmm? Yes, yes. No, 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 math is not like before, my dear. Did you all finish writing? My love, did you finish writing? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, my love. Now, question number 10. Please, please, please don't miss writing. You have to write each and everything here, my love. Please, my love. Now, first 10 questions, just A, B. Tell me what is A. Yalla, my love, tell me what is A. A is minus 4. Very good. I put parenthesis every time. Look at the question. Evaluate when A is minus 4. And what is B? B is 3. So multiply minus four and three in your calculator. Four. It's one. You see here, Ghalil? Ghalil and Mala. Uh, what is the relation between A and B? Is it A plus B or A minus B? Or A multiply B? What is it? A plus B or A minus B or A multiply B? Multiply. Multiply. Very good. Did you do you see a plus b? Do you see a minus b? No. Do you see this? You see a b. Oh. That the relation is multiplication, right? That you need to multiply a with b. Four times three. What do you get? Negative twelve. Negative twelve. Negative twelve. Opposite signs. You get a negative answer. You will not subtract it. Okay. Number eleven. 2a plus b. Yalla, Mateen, do this with me. What will I write? 2 instead of a, what should I write? Minus 4. Plus, I'll copy what instead of b. Very good. Now, now according to the operation, what will you solve first? The parenthesis. What do you get? Negative 8. If you are very confused with the sign, do with the calculator. And don't 2 minus 4. Don't do 2 minus 4. You will, girls, remember this mistake I have seen a lot in each student. They minus it. When you see parenthesis, what do you need to do? Multiply. Because see, two times A. This means two times A. You cannot do two minus A. Okay, two times four is eight and negative sign. Now tell me, what is the relation between eight and three? You see a plus sign here. So now... Do negative 8 and positive 3. Opposite sign. Will you subtract one? Do negative 8 plus 3. How do you get minus 5? 
One is negative, one is positive. Cannot difference. You need to subtract it. Eight minus three and sign of the bigger number. Eleven. The answer is one. Maybe I did something wrong. Yes. One minute. One minute. One minute. Yeah, there's three B. That's what it's, that's what I'm saying. Three B. So what will you do? You will multiply with three. So you get negative eight plus nine. That is answer is one. Did you understand? See. Now did you get it? Well, uh, what thing? You did not understand what thing? See, one second, one second. Mateen, did you understand till here? Till here, you did get it? I substitute. See here, B equal three and A equal four. And what is the question? Two A plus three B. The question is two A plus three B. Instead of A, I put four. Relax everything. If you get tensed, nothing. What is B? It's three given in the question, right? And this is also given in the question. Both threes are, this is also given and this is also given. So three and ten. Three times three, nine. Two times four, negative eight. Plus, when you do this in your calculator, you get positive one as well. What? From where you got? See in the question. A equal. This is given. A is this and B is this. Number 12, lean. What will you do this? Yalla, tell me two. I'll put the parenthesis and I'll put four, negative four and negative three. When you solve this, what do you get? Look, look to do with the calculators. You all are not so expert. Negative four and negative three, what do you get? What do you get? Do negative four and negative three. Seven, negative seven. Why, why did you do that? You see a negative. And your answer is negative 14. I will give you a few questions to practice now. Do it now, okay? Do it in the copy book. Please, 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 daily keep your copy book with you. I don't mind sticky note, but better copy book will make you practice more. And at home, when you go today, 20 minutes, you will do these questions again, girls. L learn from now, if you all make a habit of doing it daily math, you will succeed, girls. Math is a subject now, it cannot be done just at school and class. I understand and class. no. You need to repeat those questions in the copy book. We used to do each question two times and see where our mistakes were. Yalla, I'm going to put this whiteboard. Okay. I will give you some questions, same way. Find A, B. Find 2A plus, plus not 3B. I'll give by my own. 4B. And second, third, 4, A minus B. Yalla. A equal negative two and B equal three. Come on, do it. Come on, take a copy book and do two by yours. I just come back and do the question, see if you Put a hula. Yes, miss. Can you see the screen? Solve those questions, yeah. you'll be sending me on my WhatsApp now. Come on. Miss, I sent you the answers in the chat. Yes, solve the answers. Thank you. 
Oculus, I sent you the answers. Glomus? Yes, for that. Yes, my love, Johnny. I sent you the answers. You did it? Yeah, in the chat. Uh, I did not repeat, repeat, I mean, receive it. Okay, here in the chat, okay. Let us check, yes, yes, let us check the answers, okay? Yeah, well, the first one she said, it's negative two times three, negative six, excellent. Yes, two times negative two plus four times three. That is negative four plus 12, eight. 12 and four, you get eight. Now see, how did you get 16? Two times two is? But yeah, she got minus 16. How did you do that? I uh, minus I four to plus twelve. See, see, see. Two multiply by a. What is it? Two multiply by a minus four plus four so, multiply by three. It's twelve. Eight. Yes. Four. What did you get the answers, girls? For for the third one. Yes, do use the calculators when needed. 
Tell me, what did you get the third one? You got 24. And what did you get, Lean? 4 A minus B. What is A minus B? Minus 2 till minus 3. So 4. What is minus 2 minus 3? Because you will solve the parenthesis first, right? What is minus 2 minus 3? Same number you will add. Yeah, remember good. Same sign, adding. 20 was correct. Who got 20? But negative 20. Okay. You got negative 20. And how about you? Did you get it? Wale, did you get this? And uh, so see, yes, uh, yeah. you all need so much practice, Ya Rab, Allah, Allah. Huh? Which, which part you didn't understand? Hmm? See, instead of A, what do you put here? Instead of A, what did you put? Minus two, and instead of B, three. But this is a minus sign, I put a minus sign. Instead of B, I put a three. You will solve parenthesis first. What is a parenthesis? You'll solve this first. In your calculator type, minus two, minus three? Yes, minus five. Then the relation between is not, don't do four minus five. No, this is wrong. Because minus and minus, negative and negative is plus, right? You add it. Sign of the bigger number. In addition and in subtraction, we take sign. But anyways, you're using calculator, you're all, you all are so lucky that you're allowed with this. So four times five, don't do four minus five and write minus one, this is wrong. The parenthesis means there is a relation between multiplication, that is minus 20, okay? Where here, sign of the bigger number. Now tomorrow when I come, we will start, I will give you with these questions. Yeah, okay. But when I come tomorrow, I will give you some questions daily like this when I come so that you solve it. This is important. Have a great day, girls. I'll come in the next class.